What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna need you to stay till the very end of the video so you can get some very important info. Enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gents, welcome to opening day of the Any Bull Up Tag. What's up guys, this is Brandle. He was kind enough to bring me up into one of his hunting spots and go shoot a bull. And he actually has a deer tag as well. So we could honestly tag out on a deer and an elk <clears throat> today in, oh, we're legal light right now. So we're heading out, gonna head into our spot. We did some scouting yesterday. Drove around basically a lot of the time. Had a couple of spots that we can glass. And Brandel spotted up some elk. We had like 10 cows three bulls two spikes and a four point so we have the game plan this morning it's just right down the road but we have the game plan this morning to go after those bulls I've never shot anything <coughs> elk wise with my bow so I'm almost willing to take a spike I've shot plenty of spikes with the rifle but never anything with a bow so it could get interesting real quick we're heading in there wish us luck and you ready to go do this dude oh yeah we're gonna put some down today it's gonna happen today. Let's go. driving down the road and I just happened to look out the window and spotted something tannish down in the bottom sure enough we've got some milk so it looks like three cows right now if there's a bull that steps out which hopefully there is we can get that done but Brandel also has a cow tag so we're gonna hurry and uh, just run down there see what happens
Yes, please. Seriously, sitting like this, looking back this way, so I can't even see him out my prayers. I just hear him move. Can't even say anything. Not even a Wes or a hey. Just smokes a cow by himself. <laughs> That's pretty badass, though. That's cool. Good morning, ladies and gents. Let me tell you something. Our weekend was insane, Brandel and I. We had an insane, insane weekend. And nothing to show for it. <laughs> Damn it. So let me just start off by Friday morning. I had an hour of sleep. I get down to our hunting destination. We've been sitting in the... We are sitting some water because it was real hot. And uh, literally two hours in the sit... 
the dirt started feeling real comfy because Wes is on one hour sleep, mind you. So I literally doze off for, for maybe like two minutes. Two minutes tops. And all of a sudden I start hearing this stuff, but I'm also dreaming and I'm yelling at Brandle in my dream. And I wake up to Brandle going, bull, bull, don't move, don't move. So I'm like, you know, I got to check this out. So I'm like slowly creeping, slowly creeping. I see the bull. He's behind the tree. He can't see me. So I'm moving to like get my bow and everything ready. And Brandle's yelling, don't move. And I'm like, dude, he's behind the tree. He can't see me. Well, what I didn't know is there was other elk around, but all he said was bull and there was cows. So needless to say, I was so fixated on the bull that I didn't see the other elk around and me moving down to get my bow and stuff scared out the elk. Yeah, right at the, like 8 o'clock in the morning and Wes had to take a nap. I blew it. Mother F. So the rest of the day, it was kind of slower. We did spot up some other elk, but they were way far away. So Friday's done. Saturday, kind of a slower day. Kind of a slower day. Not much happened. Just a lot of does. Didn't day yesterday. We start the day off by, you know, sitting same water. And we have does coming in. All of a sudden, we have a little, little buck come in. And I will just say, Brandle had a tight window. He missed his shot. Missed his shot on a buck. So, that happens. We wait a little bit longer. I'm literally looking left, and I can hear Brandle just moving. I'm thinking he's just getting situated and stuff. Like, just, you know, getting more comfortable. Oh, no. He's not just getting more comfortable. I'm literally, I'm literally looking left, but I have my arm up right here, and I can't like this, leaning back, just looking, and I can't see what's going on behind me. My perifs are blocked from Brandle, and I'm just looking left, you know, listening to him, stops moving and stuff. All of a sudden, schwack, and the old bow goes off, and I'm like looking at him, and all of a sudden I see a cow running out, and I'm like looking at Brandle, he leans over, gives me a fist pump, he's like, I got her. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? A cow, literally shoots a cow, and you can see he had made a high shot, but, you know, shot a cow. Let's go look for blood. Well, we waited there for a half hour to, to see what's going on because we had bugles going above us. All right, so we're just sitting there. <clears throat> bugles going off. It's about 6 o'clock. We're like, all right, we better go look for blood. And just in case we have to put another arrow in her. So we're following the blood trail a quarter mile. And we're getting up there, still following blood. And all of a sudden... <laughs> Big bull comes crashing out, like 340 class bull, not even shitting you. Big bull stops, and I had zero time to range because he just busted out, and I'm like, that's 30 yards, 35 yards tops. I literally have all three pins on him, and it took me a second, steadied my bubble, had to twist this way a little bit, and I'm literally thinking, oh, I went through the process and thinking, you are on the wall, my friend. You are done. All three pins right on him, right in the money zone. Branch! Mother! I was crushed. I'm a broken man. I was in a glass cage of emotion. So yeah, needs to say, bull runs off. We look for blood even more. Nothing. So they're up there today looking for Brandle's cow. I had to come back because I have stuff to do today. Need to get caught up. Need to see the family. But mostly, you know, great weekend. <laughs> it was an awesome freaking weekend. And I blew it! Blew it twice! So as you can tell, our weekend was insane. Insane weekend. I actually spent three weekends down there, I think eight days total and you guys basically saw the highlights of all three weekends for my early season with the bow. I didn't even really touch on the mountain lion experience. What the hell is that? Yeah, thing came down to 20 yards and was drinking out of the water that we were sitting on and that was the very first time I've ever had something like that happen. Like I've spent a lot of time in the woods and, and I've never had some mountain lion just walk up to us. 
Nuck and futs. That's all I can say about that. I want to thank Brandel, Gavin, and Grant. You guys are studs. Thank you for having me out in elk camp. I thoroughly enjoyed my time out there. We ate good, had good memories, laughed a lot. It was a good time. But what I had you guys stay for is, if you didn't know, I'm giving away a moose paddle. That moose paddle, to be exact. Sorry, I'm getting ready to leave for Arizona. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Let's, let's pull it out here. Here's my hand. That thing is actually 25 inches. I measured it from here up. Well, let me flip it over. Actually, from that point right there all the way up to the tip is 25 inches. And then the spread to about right here is nine inches. You have a five and a half inch base. The thing is a tank. All right, so how you guys get entered is you go over to risingshed.com and for every dollar that you spend at the website, that is an entry. And what I'm doing this month is if you're already a t-shirt subscriber, you get 28 entries. Merry Christmas. If you sign up for this month though, for the t-shirt subscription, you get 56 entries towards that moose paddle right there. Yeah, you're welcome. But obviously you can buy anything and just know that all the support is greatly appreciated. I can't do this without you guys. I thank you so very much for following along this journey and just helping out with everything. You guys are incredible. I love you. We'll see you on the next video.